Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, I have a new fondant mat my boyfriend got me for my birthday. It's so pretty. I haven't used it yet, so I want to see how these roses are going to look. Now what I'm going to be using, I have 16 ounces here of the olive oil base, melt and pour base, and I have here the goat's milk melt, melt and pour base. Again, 16 ounces, so I will have an, you know much left over. This now, I added about a half a teaspoon of purple uh, mica, and I did add some glitter to it with the rubbing alcohol. Now, don't worry, this rubbing alcohol will not linger. Okay, so here's this beautiful red. I'm debating whether I want to add a little bit of the red to the white, but I'll see as we go on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt these down 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to take it out, check it, manually stir out all you can. Uh, you don't want to overheat the soap or burn it. Okay, this is probably going to take me about 8 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. That did take me about 18 minutes. I'm sorry, about 8 minutes. Okay. So let's see where this goat's milk, what temperature it is. Okay, 143. I kind of have a clump in this clear, hoping it's going to work itself out. Because I don't really want to put it back in. It's uh, 150. So I'm going to manually stir out all that I can. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to separate the colors. Okay. I thought the the red and the purple would look pretty with this new fondant map. We'll see. So what I do is I just spray it with rubbing alcohol and it gets all of that mica out. Now, the rubbing alcohol will dissipate, but it does cool the soap down. It's a pretty red. Really pretty. Okay, let's do the purple. Favorite color. Well, my favorite colors are purple, pink, and blue. There's some really beautiful micas that are blue, like a sea blue. Okay, we are looking good here. It seems like those clumps work themselves out. Again, let's take the temp. All right, 134. That's actually quite perfect there. Okay. I want to be able to have this so I can spin it, but you can see it. Okay. I'm going to respray my mold. One last temp on this white. Okay. This is 139. I'm going to spray a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. I want it down in the lower 130s. Okay, that went down to 126. Okay, so I'm going to start the pour. If I do that, can you still see? Beautiful purple. Okay, now I am going to spin it just one once, one way and the other way. I'm hoping this doesn't muddy the colors. We will soon find out. Colors are really so pretty.
back in with this pretty blue, I mean purple. I just made a soap that had blue. That's why I'm a little confused for a minute. Okay. Boy, I hope this turns out. Okay, I'm going to let this set, guys, I would say, for about two hours, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. Anxious to see how this turned out. I like that. Of course I'm going to put glitter on it though. That's kind of a given. I'm trying to get this excess. trying to trim this excess without I don't want to touch this rose okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to go get some glitter and then I'll be right back we'll put the glitter on and then I'll show you it okay be right back okay I just have some glitter here and some rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol will help the uh, glitter to adhere. I really like this mold here. Okay, I move the lamp just a little bit closer. Okay, so pretty. I love all the details. I'm hoping nothing muddied together, but we're about to find out. Okay, I'm going to cut this off camera, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 